okay good afternoon guys today i will show how to use uh, the aq master pro okay so for this session we start with the modbus edit modbus device now i have uh, one coupler ario remote io Atonix remote io the part number is the uh, ario c mt okay first we need to open the editor modbus editor okay and uh, after we check configuration in the AQ master by using a uh, cable USB micro micro USB cable we setting and then we check the address address assignment in the, the AQ master so the analog input now I plug in analog input AI04C1 and DI08N. Okay, the the start address is uh, for analog number one is three zero. Uh, sorry, two thousand. So the address is here two thousand. The second two thousand one and uh, four analog input analog one. 2, 3 and 4 and then the 1 digital input ok uh, first you need to give one name to to the vendor name Autonix Ario, let's say I put here Autonix Ario and then product is Ario-C-MT and then description uh, Ario I said you can uh, add icon or you don't want to add also no problem ok the start address with 0 so you just uh, tick RS232 and Modbus TCP IP after that you save save and then go out ok we see here support device list now after you configure in Modbus editor you just uh, refresh it refresh Okay, now already have the after you do a configuration setting in Modbus editor you every time you need to refresh in order to uh, to the data uh, when you call back the data to data is at the new the uh, newest one okay uh, click here double click so uh, Modbus uh, ario is uh, the communication communication protocol is a Modbus uh, TCP IP so just uh, click TCP IP then click OK OK then you need to change the ARIO uh, ARIO IP address 192.168.2 and then 5 Okay. After that, uh, change here also. You need to change the Modbus Master to mode Modbus TCP. And just here, put minus one to to ensure the when this communication this communicate. So the the AQ Master will try to search one more time and then anti infinity searching. So when something happen with your network, so when you put a minus one, so the the equipment will always uh, searching for the unit. Okay. If you put uh, only three, so after three time, uh, the equipment will stop search for the unit. After that, uh, go to the project, and then you need to add device we have a one coupler here so we need to add the coupler you need and then you click IO so all the setup in the Modbus editor will appear here the parameter 
so you need to let's say you select all double click or you can just uh, add to the AQ list eh. so this is this one is uh, the AQ list so now we try to monitor all the IO which I already configured you select all we drag inside the oh. try to select all and then we drag inside the line graph setting okay after that uh, we connect press uh, connect After connect, we run. Try to run. So you can see here is the data for analog input. Analog number one, number two, three, and four already uh, show here. Okay, I uh, now I try to input uh, four to twenty milliamp to the input number three. Analog input number three. Okay, I will start to inject uh, 4 milliamp So we show here 4000 Okay, so I change the graph setting Let's see to 5000 Okay, then 20000 Okay, you can see the 4 milliamp is here. After that, I increase the value to 5 milliamp. So you can see the light graph already increased. I increase again 6 milliamp and 7. Okay, uh, now. 8 milliamp 9 10 until 12 milliamp eh, sorry until 20 oh this one is a maximum maximum we can see on the graph okay session I will continue for the digital input uh, because uh, I need uh, some time to check for digital input configuration so this is a first video show you how to uh, do setting for ARIO uh, analog input okay thank you